Whether you are interested in science and scientific experiments or not, you must have heard of, if not watched, the Mythbusters series, arguably one of the most successful products to air on Discovery Channel. Mythbusters is the American-Australian science entertainment program that introduced millions of people worldwide to science flubs. The series follows two special effects experts and hosts, Adam Savage and Jamie Heineman, who test the validity of various theories and myths using scientific methods and experiments. Developed by Peter Rees, the series premiered in January 2003 and ran for 17 seasons, concluding in 2016. Mythbusters came to life beginning in 2002, when the Australian writer and producer Peter Rees developed the show's concept for the Discovery Channel under the name Tall Tales or True. It was initially rejected because Discovery had already produced a similar series at the time. However, Peter was confident in his idea and adamant about pursuing it, so he refined the pitch to focus on experimental aspects and practical use, rather than just retelling and describing them. After improving the show's concept, Discovery agreed to co-produce a three-episode series pilot. Discovery asked Jamie Heineman to prepare a video for network consideration regarding the selection of special effects experts and hosts. Additionally, Peter interviewed Jamie for a segment of the science series Beyond 2000 about the robot combat series Robot Wars. Jamie then asked Adam Savage, who had previously collaborated on several projects, to co-host the show, because Jamie thought it would be more enjoyable with two hosts than one. Besides being a special effects expert, Adam is also an educator, actor, and producer, who subsequently gained worldwide fame for hosting Mythbusters. Adam was born into a family with a background in entertainment. His father, Whitney Lee Savage, was a painter, filmmaker, and animator, perhaps best recognized for his work on the educational children's series Sesame Street and the short film Mickey Mouse in Vietnam. Before landing a role in Mythbusters, Adam engaged in several projects as an animator, graphic designer, and model maker on movies such as The Mummy, Matrix Reloaded, and Space Cowboy. Interestingly, a graduate of the prestigious New York University's Tisch School of the Arts, Adam had taught advanced model making at the Academy of Art Universities in San Francisco. Regarding his acting roles, he made a cameo appearance in an episode of the procedural forensic crime series CSI Crime Scene Investigation, alongside his friend Jamie, and in the short movie Night of the Little Dead. Besides Mythbusters, Adam and Jamie also hosted another science and engineering show entitled Unchained Reaction. In 2011, Adam was rewarded with an honorary doctorate from the University of Twente, located in Enchdale, Netherlands, for popularizing science. James Franklin Heinemann is a well-respected special effects expert, inventor, actor, and owner of M5 Industries, a special effects company known as Laboratory for Mythbusters Experiments. Hailing from Marshall, Michigan, Jamie also gained popularity among Robot Wars fans for his robot Blendo, deemed too dangerous to enter the competition. In addition, he invented Sentry, a fighting robotic vehicle. Prior to his job in Mythbusters, he worked on the second and third installments of the Matrix trilogy and on the sci-fi drama film Naked Lunch as an animatronics technician, which is how he met Adam. Talking of his acting roles, he mostly appeared alongside Adam in the series CSI Crime Scene Investigation and the movie The Darwin Awards. They both also lent their voices to the characters in the TV series The Simpsons and Phineas and Ferb. Similar to his friend, Jamie taught at a university, La Pinranta University of Technology, LUT, in La Pinranta, Finland. Although unlike his friend, Jamie holds a degree in Russian linguistics. In addition, he's received three honorary degrees from Villanova University, the University of Twente, and La Pinranta University of Technology for popularizing science and technology. In addition to the two stellar hosts, the show also featured a number of other members who alternated between the roles of host and a builder. These included the TV personality Carrie Byron, the model maker Tori Bellici, electrical engineer and roboticist Grant Imahara, and professional racer and metal fabricator Jesse Combs. After a 17-season run, many fans were disappointed as they learned that one of the beloved science shows Mythbusters had been cancelled. It sparked controversy and debate given that many viewers wanted to get to the bottom of the issue there are two theories, however. During a Silicon Valley's comic conference in 2017, a fan asked Adam to shed some light on the show's cancellation, and this is what Adam replied. Everything in the world has its bell curve. The show ran for so long that I managed to renegotiate my contract three times. The last time was in 2010, and it was a five-year contract. At the time, our ratings were at their absolute peak, and over the next five years, they started to slide. He then explained that regardless of the decrease in ratings, the show still had relatively good ratings. But as the end of the contract was approaching, it raised several questions, such as whether they would continue filming the series. However, Discovery Channel wouldn't offer them a better salary because of the drop in the viewership rates. Adam and Jamie wouldn't settle for less, 
which combined with production costs meant Discovery would be losing money. Adam revealed it seemed like a proper place to put it to bed. It felt like all these things were meeting at the right moments. The best part about all of that is that Discovery agreed to let us call it a final season and to say goodbye to the fans. That doesn't happen on scripted reality. He added that the show had been running for 14 years and that he and Jamie were actually tired anyway. The decision to cancel the show was taken in 2015, but Adam and Jamie were given a last season to conclude the series and farewell their fans. However, Mythbusters did see a brief revival in 2017 after the sister network Science Channel rebooted the series under the name Mythbusters The Search with new hosts, industrial designer John Lung and the American pilot and rescue diver Brian Loudon. It didn't feature any members of the original show. However, it wasn't as successful as it hoped and was cancelled after two seasons. In 2019, another reboot of the series premiered entitled Mythbusters Jr. with a different cast. It followed the same format of testing the myth through scientific methods and so determining whether it was true or false. The show's host is Adam Savage, but with six children knowledgeable in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or STEM. Consisting of 10 episodes, it premiered in January and concluded in February of the same year. It remains unclear whether the show will be renewed for another season. However, considering it's now 2022, many believe that the ship has already sailed. Another popular theory when reasoning the cancellation of Mythbusters is that the two hosts weren't that fond of each other and had no relationship beyond the show. Talking to a media outlet, Jamie said, we like to point out that we've known each other for 25 years and never once sat down to have dinner together alone. We sort of managed to tolerate each other. I think it's probably safe to say that continuing our on-screen relationship in front of the camera is probably not happening. Adam has also been very vocal about the relationship, saying, We get on each other's nerves and everything all the time, but whenever that happens, we say so and we deal with it and move on. There are times when we really dislike dealing with each other, but we make it work. Adam explained that building and designing in front of a camera took more time than without the camera, which was very frustrating for an individual strongly interested in construction and engineering. Some are curious to know which members of Mythbusters have died. In 2019, Jessica Combs, known as the fastest woman on four wheels, died in an accident at the age of 29 after crashing a jet-powered car while trying to break the land speed record in the Alvor Desert, Oregon. Following minor hindrances, while driving the vehicle, her front wheel assembly collapsed at a speed of 550 miles per hour. The official cause of death was blunt force trauma, which happened before the car was consumed by fire. With her last run in the Alvor Desert, she broke the women's land speed record of 512.71 miles per hour, set by Kitty O'Neill. Jessica appeared in the series' 2009 and 2010 seasons. In July 2020, news about the death of Grant Imahara, a member of the Mythbusters build team, shocked the fans of the show. He died at the age of 49 from a ruptured intracranial aneurysm. Before appearing on Mythbusters, Grant worked as an engineer on several projects, including the Matrix trilogy and the Star Wars prequel trilogy. He came on the show at Jimmy's request, as they had occasionally collaborated. Grant was also the star of the Netflix series White Rabbit Project, alongside his co-stars Tori and Carrie. Since the second season, members of Adam's and Jimmy's behind-the-scenes personnel were set as the second team of Mythbusters, called the Bill Team consisting of Tori, Grant, and Carrie. They tested theories separately from the hosting duo and worked in a different shop. However, this changed in 2014 when Discovery announced that some members would leave the show. According to the reports, the team was removed due to the growing production costs, while the show's popularity and ratings slowly declined. Furthermore, they reportedly asked for higher pay, which was deemed unreasonable in the eyes of the producers. While talking of the show at the Comic-Con, Adam briefly touched on the subject, saying, I'm sad they removed Carrie, Grant, and Tori from the show. We didn't want that. Jamie and I didn't want that. In 2020, Miranda Pacchiana, sister of Adam Savage, disclosed that she was sexually abused as a child by her brother. According to the documents obtained from the court, from 1976 to 1979, while the two lived together in Sleepy Hollow, New York, Adam forced himself onto her. He demanded that she perform oral sex on him and other forms of abuse. Miranda was seven at the time and Adam was nine. In the lawsuit filed by Miranda, she stated that she felt horrified and traumatized. She sought to recover from the emotional and physical suffering she incurred, and to make sure that no other child is forced to suffer the abuse and physical and mental trauma she felt and continues to feel. Adam denied the accusations, and his lawyer provided his official statement to the media outlet USA Today. Adam disclosed, While I hope that my sister gets the help she needs to find peace, this needs to end. For many years, she has relentlessly and falsely attacked other members of my family and me to anyone that will listen, 
He added that she had already attempted to pursue a financial bonanza from him and their family by disseminating false stories, resulting in a complete estrangement from all members of the Savage family. Their mother, Karen Savage, also weighed in on the situation and said, It makes me very sad to say this, but my daughter suffers from severe mental health challenges and it's devastating that she's putting Adam and our entire family through this, she said. Adam is a good man and I support him completely. To date, there hasn't been resolution. Probably the most famous incident to happen on the show was the cannonball chemistry experiment. Mythbusters sent one of their experiments hurtling into a Dublin neighborhood, although luckily nobody was hurt. But the residents of Dublin were stunned to learn that a cannonball had come whizzing through their community. While conducting the experiment, Jamie and Adam fired the cannonball from a bombing range at Camps Park, and it soared 700 yards into a house on Cosada Place, bounced across a road onto a roof, and into a minivan on Springvale Drive. Alameda Sheriff's Office supervised the experiment, but despite the precautions, it didn't go as planned. The problem occurred when the projectile went over the intended target of water barrels, skipped up a hill that was supposed to serve as a safe backup, and hit the side of a house. The news about this failed experiment made headlines, and many began questioning whether the show should be cancelled. Jamie, Adam, and Discovery apologized for what could have ended someone's life, and disclosed that the cannibal took an unforeseen balance from a safety beam, and that they would pay for the damages. The show wasn't cancelled after the incident, and they continued testing, but in a remote area, away from any residential area. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.